Hey guys, I'm Brian Clark and welcome to my channel. Um, this channel is new and it revolves around like mysteries and missing people and all the things like that. So if you like that kind of stuff, you can check out my other videos. And this video is about the strange disappearance of Stephen Kosher. Stephen Kosher was a 30 year old male who disappeared on December 12th, 2009, at which time he resided in St. George, Utah. A little background on Stephen. Stephen was a devout Mormon and at the time of his disappearance was recently let go from his job and was working for a company handing out flyers and at the time of his disappearance had no more than two dollars to his name. Stephen also was three months late on rent and this part will come into play later but he had called his dad two days before his disappearance and had really really downplayed the amount of money that he had owed his landlord. Now, this may or may not have something to do with Stephen's disappearance, although I myself find it a little bit strange. On December 9th, before Stephen went missing, he showed up unexpectedly at an ex-girlfriend's family home. Um, and when he arrived there, her parents had informed him that she was away at school, and some places online say that they were really shocked because he had actually known that she had gone away to school. So I think that's a little bit odd, but he could have forgotten. But anyways, he had stayed after being informed that she was away. He had stayed and visited the parents until shortly after lunchtime, at which time he returned back to his Saint home in St. George, Utah. And this would be the start of Stephen's very, very bizarre road trip. So on this bizarre road trip, Stephen had actually driven 1,200 miles in the span of three days between Utah and Las Vegas for no apparent reason. Nobody knows why he was doing it. No one has come forward and said, you know, what he was doing there. There's really no explanation, but I will insert a map somewhere around here to show just how bizarre his travels were back and forth. During Stephen's little travels, he actually talked to two friends from his church group and had told them both that he was in Las Vegas, but never had mentioned why or what he was doing there. One of these friends had even asked Stephen to cover for him in a church event that was coming up later on that week, and Stephen agreed and said that he would be back in St. George, Utah by the time that the event had taken place. But unfortunately, Stephen had never showed up to this church event. On December 14th, 2009, Stephen's white Chevrolet Cavalier was found abandoned in two 600 block Savannah Springs Avenue in an upscale retirement community in Henderson, Nevada, 130 miles away from Stephen's home. Inside Stephen's car, they had found wrapped Christmas gifts, a pile of resumes, a blanket, a pillow, and a shaving kit. And later on, they had found Stephen's cell phone charger and his laptop at his house, suggesting that he had planned on going back home. Stephen was last seen on a home security camera walking down a street in a suburb, like he had a purpose, looking like he knew exactly where he was going, with what looked like a package tucked tightly underneath his arm. Five hours after Stephen's car was found, they traced his cell phone to a tower that was hours away from where they had found Stephen's car at um, Ariel Ground Boulevard. Following that, Stephen's phone signal had moved all over the place and the next morning was last traced when somebody had tried to check Stephen's voicemail. And they had traced the cell signal to US 25 Boulevard and Russell Road where the cell signal remained for two days until the signal was completely lost. Stephen's family say that they believe that Stephen's out of the blue trip to Las Vegas was to seek a job or maybe a job opportunity or a job interview as he had felt really, really bad about not having work. Although they do also say that Stephen had showed no signs of wanting to take his life or run away to change his life. So jumping into theory, some people believe that Stephen's disappearance was related to the disappearance of Susan Powell. Um, as they disappeared from the same state around the same time and they both had the same religious beliefs. Although after looking into Susan's case a little bit closer, I don't think that that is the case as all of the evidence in her case really, really points to her husband and her father-in-law. In fact, Susan even documented herself that if something had happened to her or her family to look into her husband as she didn't trust him. Also, her father-in-law was like really sickly obsessed with her and was actually later charged and put in jail for being involved in some shady activity. Um, so I really, really think that her husband and her father-in-law 
actually had a huge involvement in her going missing. And um, it is also widely believed that her husband and her father-in-law actually spread the theory that they that Stephen and Susan had run off together. Um, but there is no actual evidence of this at all and I just personally don't think that it is the case. Another theory that is widely speculated on the internet is that Stephen could have been gay and could have been traveling back and forth between Utah and Las Vegas to visit his secret lover. And once in um, Las Vegas, he could have taken his life due to the fact that he was having fears of being rejected by his family and friends or he could have ran away to start a new life as he was having fears of being rejected by family and friends. Um, and there's no evidence to back this, although there was a search group out in 2015 who said they were specifically looking for evidence of somebody who could have harmed themselves when they were looking for Stephen. And um, I do believe that this could have been the case, although I don't think that it needs to be revolving around the fact that he was gay, as Stephen was having a very, very hard time and was put in a very, very hard place in his life and he could have wanted to run away and start over. Now this theory of Stephen running away and starting a new life is backed up by the fact that there have been many, many sightings of Stephen reported all over Las Vegas and Utah. And some people have even called in saying that they thought that he might have fallen and got hurt and had amnesia because he didn't know who he was. And the last and final theory that I'm going to touch base on is that Stephen was dealing drugs for his landlord and met foul play. Although this is the theory that I believe to be true after looking into it, I think that it's the most logical. It has never been proven and Steven's disappearance still remains a mystery to this day. So on the Facebook page dedicated to helping find Steven, um, somebody had actually posted that they were a friend of Steven's old roommate and that um, Steven's landlord had a lot of drugs and prescription drugs and pills just lying around all the time. And when he was asked about this, the landlord had said that he worked for a pharmaceutical delivery company. So Steven's old roommate and I guess his friend had taken upon themselves to look into this after Steven had gone missing and they said that there was no evidence that the landlord was working for any pharmaceutical companies at all, let alone ones that deliver drugs to people. Um, so I think that it is very likely that Steven's landlord had said, you know, if you deliver these drugs for me, I will get rid of the rent that you owe me. And there's a possibility that Steven didn't even know that what he was doing was illegal. He could have just thought that he was delivering drugs for a pharmaceutical company and somewhere along the way had met foul play. But unfortunately, to this day, this case still remains unsolved. And I really hope that soon some light is shed on this case and Steven's family and close friends can somehow get closure for what had happened to their loved one. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also comment below what you think happened to Steven as this case really, really baffles me. Um, if you like these kinds of videos, please check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.